Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my videos and this time we're taking a look at the WCW Galoob wrestling figures. So here we go guys, we've got the cage there around the wrestling ring, some action figures on the left, some more there. So what do we know about the Galoobs? They were available between 1990 and 1991, only two years. Same size as the Hasbro's really, well WWF Hasbro's for all of you out there. Uh, they were more of like a rubber still action figure, didn't have the mechanisms, but hey, they were great figures nonetheless. I remember them here in the UK, and slowly now I'm building up my collection, which it's fun, but it's hard work. I need to start picking up some of the rarer figures. You like see a Brian Pillman with the blue trunks, Big Josh, Dustin Rhodes, El Gigante, but I'll show you now what I've bought so far. It's quite good to collect because there is some bargains still out there, but as I say, I need some of the big players to make my collection more worthwhile. Okay, so here we go. We'll start roll off with Rick Steiner, the dog face gremlin. Check out the tattoo on the side there. Nice little figure, very common to find. Then we'll go to his tag team partner, Scott Steiner. Totally different to what he finished off as, you know, when he was uh, the big, uh, big papa pump, is it? All that era. Totally different. Nice athletic build to that one. We got the Stinger, another common version with that. Check out the Scorpion print on the trunks. Face paint there, absolutely love this figure. Very common to find, but as you remember, they came in all sorts of different colours. So pink trunks, black trunks, blue trunks, you name it. Very common to find. Woo! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. This time he's got the, the light blue trunks and the obviously the black knee pads believe this to be an American release if you like check out the wear, the colour in and basically all the damage and play where he's got quite common to find but with Ric Flair there was other variants to this colour too On, onwards from there we've got the blue trunks Lex Luger quite a nice little figure really reminds me of his time in 1991 with WCW he was a great wrestler there the Enforcer, Arn Anderson. Check out that. Look at the moustache. Uh, sorry, the beard and everything. This one hasn't got the bald spot. Apparently the bald spot is a rarer one to get. Yet again, more paint and bodywork damage. And, you know, I can imagine someone playing with these and having a lot of fun. So, that's the Enforcer, Arn Anderson. With a little bit of research, I've looked into it. Apparently this is a UK exclusive Ric Flair. So I'm told that Galoob lost the license to America and it carried on in the UK and there was another series so that was included with the UK release if you like and that's the UK Ric Flair. Again more damage and you know a lot of fun playing with it. More UK exclusives, I'm told this is a UK exclusive Lex Luger with the green trunks and yellow wristbands so quite a nice figure again like the other ones so what do you think? Not bad, bit of paint wear. <laughs> My final two are, well it's Jimmy Garvin and Michael P.S. Hayes from the Fabulous Freebirds. I do remember these being available with like, it would be like a ring module similar to the WWF Hasbro figures. So still got your face paint there and obviously bit of paint wear and a bit of battered damage. UK exclusive apparently. Uh, I'd love to have one of these boxed, so I'll have to keep my eyes open, hey. And I'll I'll show you the last one I've got here, Michael P.S. Hayes. There he is. Look at that for a look. Typical, well, he looks like a Texan rock star there, in my opinion. Nice little ring attire. Obviously, quite good shape, considering. But hey, guys, that's what I've got. I'll leave you with the ring, and if you remember the old jumper there, and outside, oh I've already set that off, so you could push down on that somehow and it would spring up and it was all sorts of, little, oh there you go, you got like your little clips for the, for the cage there, the only thing I am missing is like a little ring bell, but hey ho, we'll find one of them one of these days. Yeah, I hope you like the video guys, stay tuned, I'll, I'll be picking more WCW glue figures up I'm sure, hopefully my uh, sad addiction with wrestling <laughs> We'll finish with the gloves, but who knows, eh? Thank you.
uh, keep checking back and subscribe. Thank you for that. Bye.